Okay, how's it going, everybody? So, um, we're going to get into a Deng Xiaoping. Uh, mobilize new recruits and conduct political work among them, 1938. So this is, um, let's see, it was the anti-Japanese imperialist struggle during that, during that time. And uh, we've read the first parts and second parts here on Marx's Saw, but we're going to go ahead and read this third part, the final part here. Let's go ahead and get into it. As far as recruitment is concerned, we should try to fulfill the quotas and at the same time, through political work, ensure that recruits are highly motivated and enthusiastic about going to the front. This is most important to the enhancement of the troops. Combat effectiveness. Completion of these tasks relies on cooperation between the recruitment organizations and the army. Inappropriate methods make it extremely hard to consolidate the troops and enhance their fighting capacity. Therefore, those armed units that are in urgent need of recruits should avoid using such inappropriate methods to do more effective political work. The latter cannot be ignored, even if appropriate methods are used. We should see that, since new soldiers are ordinary people before they join the army, they have a strong attachment to family life, are not used to army life, and lack military skills. We should therefore take practical steps and work hard to help them settle down so that they will soon become accustomed to army life and skilled in fighting. We cannot agree with the idea that these aims can be attained only by officer strict control. Rigid discipline and rational control are indeed essential, but they have to be combined with political work. That is to say, our soldiers should not only have weapons in their hands, but more important, they should also be armed mentally. Totally repressive measures can produce only un undependable, superficial effects. They cannot rouse the soldiers' initiative or bring out their matchless fighting capabilities, much less unite the soldiers to carry on this arduous struggle under all kinds of adverse conditions. Political work should and can greatly help the new recruits to settle down in the army and enhance their combat effectiveness. We should cooperate with organizations in charge of recruitment and holding grand recognition and sending off ceremonies for newly enlisted soldiers. And on their way to the front, the local people should be organized to greet them and see them off. On their arrival at the front, the troops should also warmly welcome them. As soon as the new recruits enter the army, we should understand the circumstances under which they are enlisted and their feelings anticipate any problems that might arise. Then we should explain things to them, particularly the need to resist Japanese aggression, in order to heighten their political awareness. In the army, we should encourage veteran soldiers to be friendly to the new soldiers and to help them learn military skills and political affairs and not to bully them. At the same time, we should see to it that the new soldiers get their food, clothing, and other supplies and that their difficulties and hardships are reduced to a minimum so that they will be content to be in the army. These are the key factors for stabilizing the army. We should exercise rational control and put more stress on education and persuasion so that the new soldiers will consci conscientiously observe the rules of discipline and study hard. We should encourage the new soldiers to write to their families, telling about their pleasant life in the army and urging their families to resist Japanese aggression and save the nation. We should also allow their family members to visit them in the army barracks, show sol solicitude for them and entertain them. And this will not only help remedy the errors made during enlistment, but will also facilitate future recruitment. We hope those in charge of political work will do their best. and We also hope military officers will help them in this regard. Improved enlistment procedures and political work in the Army and advanced strategy and tactics will enable us to turn out a huge armed force for national defense, possessing great skill and the best fighting capabilities, which will finally defeat, defeat the Japanese imperialists. First published on February, 8th, or February 12th, 1938, in Volumes 3 and 4, a combined issue, of the front line, a weekly launch by the General Political Department of the 18th Groot Army of the National Revolutionary Army. At the time the article was written, the author was serving as deputy director of the political department of the 8th Route Army and soon to become political commissar of the 129th Division of the 8th Route Army. That was a note at the end. All right, well, yeah, that is uh, mobilize new recruits and conduct political work among them. Well, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all, uh, you know, if you all want to follow me online, you know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Tumblr, Medium, all of these are Marxists. Y'all follow me there. Y'all have a great day and do that a goy.